And as you correctly say, there it is, corpus crop, crop. How did John Taylor make his money? I'm sure that was the question you were, when you looked at that. How did he make his money? Anybody? <coughs> Any of you ever use a kettle nowadays to make a hot drink? And you take it off, you fill it with water, and you slosh the water all over the place, and then you stick it back on the electric, on the mains electricity. Do you ever lick your fingers and check mains electricity? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of interesting, because here you've got a kitchen where people are really neurotic about having water and electricity. And what John Taylor did, he invented a device that allows us to put our kettle just on it, connect, heat our water up, and if water gets there, it doesn't have a problem because of the way he's actually designed the connections in a very good way. That's how he made his money. He was actually more generous. These clocks cost about a million pounds. He's a graduate of Corpus, and he actually gave an enormous amount of money to convert their libraries. So he's also a nice traditionalist. And why the grasshopper? It's the passage of time. He did this in his late 60s when he suddenly thought, having been very successful, and he was realizing he was getting a bit older, and he therefore the passage of time is involved in the clock. So the clock that you see, who likes it? Who likes it in the daytime? Who likes it at night time? It's just beautiful. 